Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add AR codes to different games. So today we're going to do Super Mario Sunshine. So what you want to do is you can open the wiki to whatever game you're wanting to put AR codes or gecko codes in by right clicking in wiki. So I already have it up here. And then you go to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio fix for widescreen. So we're going to do widescreen and 60 frames per second patches today. So we'll go ahead and do whatever region your ROM is. Mine is the North American version. So just scroll up to the top of this and then just copy and paste all of it. Copy. You will right click the game you're wanting, go to properties, go to gecko codes, and then so there's already a widescreen gecko code by default on Super Mario Sunshine, but some people have it, some don't. So if you don't, just follow this guide here. But go to new code, and then we'll go ahead and go to code, paste, go up to the top, and this is the creator here. So we will cut that, put it creator. And then this is the name of the code. We'll cut that and paste. And then we'll just take this back up to the top and hit save. And make sure it's checked. So I'll just go ahead and show you. So it's not checked right now. And I'll show you that it is not working. So as you can see, it's not working. It's not 16 by nine, it's four by three. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Go to properties, gecko codes, and we'll turn it on. Hit close. And it should be in widescreen now. Yep, it's in widescreen. All right, and then it looks good with these custom textures and everything. But as you can see, guys, up here at the top, we are running 30 frames per second. So I'm going to show you guys how to get a 60 frames per second patch. Go back to the wiki page for Super Mario Sunshine. And then this is no matter what region you're running on, it will be the same. So just copy this. And then go back to properties, gecko codes, add new code, go down the code, paste, script to the top. This one does not have the creator listed, so we don't have to put the creator on this one. And then just make sure it's back up to the top. Save, make sure it is checked. And hit close. And it should be running 60 frames per second. And with the widescreen, you know, these bars don't go all the way to the side because it's made by four or four by three. But other than that, everything else works good. There is a uh, widescreen hacks in Dolphin, but it clips and messes with a lot of games. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine is one of those that it messes with. Um, Wind Waker is another one. Actually, Wind Waker, I think, does work good. Just Twilight Princess does not. But uh, as you guys can see, we are running at 60 frames per second with that patch. Widescreen, it looks good. These custom textures. Uh, if you want to learn how to make custom textures in your games, just follow and subscribe to my channel and watch my last video. But this game runs good. All right. And then, like I said, you can go to any of the wiki pages for any of your games. So, like here, Wind Waker, we can go to the wiki for it. 
and they have a 16 by 9 as aspect ratio patch for it but um for wind waker there's no and here's the custom texture packs for wind waker and super Mario sunshine are, is on that wiki page as well but as of right now there's no good working 60 frames per second patch for wind waker so just keep that in mind some games won't have 60 frames per second patches some will but most games now have a 16 by 9 widescreen patch for Dolphin. And then, like I said, if you want to add a Gecko code for whatever reason, you can do, just do the same thing. Go to Properties, go to, I mean, AR code, I'm sorry. If you want to add an AR code, just do the same thing, and it'll all work. But... See, right here's the Gecko codes. There's all kinds of them. Just test them out, whichever ones you want. This is for Wind Waker. See more sunshine. There's different ones. And you can just explore. All right, guys, if that helped, leave a like and a comment down below. And subscribe if you would like. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.